My brothers and sisters, good morning. This is the morning prayer for Monday, April 4th, 2022, Monday of the fifth week of Lent. And let us begin our morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, God is our rock of refuge. Let us give thanks and praise. Yesterday and today, the Mass readings remind us of two women accused of adultery. Susanna, the innocent, and the nameless woman, guilty, brought before Jesus. We might think of them as representing two, the two faces of God's people, innocent and guilty. The Lord hears not their deeds, but their plight, and rescues them from their accusers. Jesus, who takes the place of stricken humanity before the wrath of the enemy, will not so spare himself. And let us pray. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the lyre, with a ten-stringed harp sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. They are happy, whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Though the mountains leave their place, and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. In justice shall you be established, far from the fear of oppression, where destruction cannot come near you. Should there be any attack, it shall not be of my making. Whoever attacks you shall fall before you. The Word of the Lord. And on this Monday morning, brothers and sisters, let us pray and recite the Canticle of Zechariah. And let us pray. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, dawn from on high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Intercessions you are our help and defender, O Lord, in time of trial. You we flee for protection, praying, and the response is, Save us, O Lord. Save us, O Lord. When evil tempts us to deeds of darkness, save us, O Lord. When the good fortune of forgiven sinners disturbs us, save us, O Lord. When gossip lures us into judging our neighbor, save us, O Lord. When faith wavers in the face of suffering, save us, O Lord. And let us offer to God our own personal intentions cold from the silence of our hearts. Save us, O Lord. And let us pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us pray. O God, you are the help of all who are in need of you. You treat us not as we deserve, but as you choose, and your choice is love. Widen our hearts to receive your love and to mirror it to saint and sinner alike. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us end our morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good day, everybody.